So here we have or this. Uh, by the way, I, I just uh, this is worthy of reminding us all of. Right. This is a, a, a post by Botany over at uh, DU from a couple of days ago, from October 28th. Uh, during the uh, current, the Obama administration, there have been two embassy attacks and four American deaths. The, they were all at Benghazi. Um, I don't know where the second embassy attack was, but one was in Benghazi. Uh, there have been 13 investigations which have uh, cost at least $14 million into these. Now, during the Bush administration, immediately preceding the Obama administration and lasting, you know, just a few months longer so far, there were uh, 13 embassy attacks, not two. There were 66 deaths. There were three American diplomats killed. There were 22 em embassy employees killed. Uh, the number of investigations into all those embassy deaths, those 66 embassy deaths during the Bush administration, number of congressional investigations, uh, zero. During the Reagan administration, there were 10 embassy attacks. There were 318 deaths, which included the 254 Marines who died in Lebanon. Uh, one U.S. ambassador was killed. 18 CIA officers were killed during the Reagan administration. And the number of investigations, one. And that was not a, um, not a, uh, a witch hunt kind of investigation. It was, uh, you know, what, what happened in Lebanon. It was, in fact, it was the, the Republicans looking at it, as I recall as much as anything else. So, but anyhow, I wanted to get to this, this, this thing about uh, FBI Director Comey. I had been a huge fan of, of uh, James Comey. You know, he stood up to, to uh, Alberto Gonzalez and George W. Bush, uh, refusing to uh, let them uh, essentially force a heavily sedated and pretty much out of it John Ashcroft uh, in his hospital bed, sign a paper that would authorize uh, what Comey thought to be illegal spying on Americans. And that made him a hero in my mind. And I think in the minds of a lot of people. And I'm, I'm guessing that's probably one of the main reasons why President Obama made him director of the FBI. Here's a guy, even though he's been a lifelong Republican, even though he used to work with Ken Starr, um, here's a guy who who's, has, you know, integrity. But it's getting weird out there. I mean, it's it's seriously getting weird out there. The the um, it's appearing, and again, we don't know because the FBI isn't saying. But we're getting leaks out of the Department of Justice and leaks out of the FBI. Which, first of all, on just on its surface, and uh, V Dog writes about this uh, uh, over at uh, DU and is quoting a piece actually from Fox News. Uh, he says, as an old Justice Department reporter, I can tell you that I've never seen anything like the torrent of leaks coming out of the FBI and DOJ, and that reflects dissent within the department and the bureau over how this could ha should have been handled. And then, you know, so apparently what happened is that uh, they were looking at, at Anthony Weiner's laptop. Now, they had, you know, uh, Huma Abedin had turned her phone over to the FBI a long time ago when they were looking into, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton's emails. So anybody who was getting, you know, Huma's stuff went to the FBI, Hillary's stuff went to the FBI. They looked through it all. They decided, okay, there's no there there. Other than Comey going out and saying, oh, it looks like she was very sloppy, right? So it appears now that, you know how you can, if you've got a, I, I, I'm guessing you can do the same thing with a, with a, you know, a PC-based phone uh, or an Android phone. Uh, but if you've got an iPhone, you can have it automatically back up to your laptop anytime your laptop and your iPhone are both on the same Wi-Fi network. It just happens in the background. You don't even have to push any buttons or anything. You don't even know what's going on. It just happens. Your phone gets backed up to your laptop, and it's stashed as a little file on your laptop that is the backup of your phone. And uh, in within iTunes. And it appears that that's what happened, that Huma's telephone was backing up to Anthony's laptop. And so they're going through Anthony's laptop looking for evidence that he was sexting him with a 15-year-old, and they find this backup archive. Now, they've already got Huma's phone. They've already gone through all the emails on her phone. 
which is what this backup is on, on Wiener's laptop. So, I mean, the, if these leaks are correct, and again, you know, who knows, but, and the, and, which is another good reason why, while Comey is, on the one hand, investigating the, in, you know, the ties between Donald Trump and, and Russian oligarchs and Donald Trump and organized crime and Donald Trump and not paying his taxes and Donald Trump and some of his business dealings and, you know, shady activities around the world, um, Comey's not holding press conferences talking about that because that might influence an election. All right, that's a violation of Justice Department policy and it's a violation of the Hatch Act. But, gee, we found some more Hillary Clinton emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop that are backed up off Huma's phone, which we already have. Oh, geez, let's light our hair on fire. And let me just add one last thing to, to this rant, just very quickly, because we're just about to hit a break. Um, at the top of DU today, great graphic. Donald Trump has seven policy proposals on his website. Hillary Clinton has 38 policy proposals on her website. How much time have the media, ABC World News Tonight, CBS Evening News, NBC Nightly News, spent talking about these, these, uh, the 40, what would this be, 46 uh, policy proposals by the two candidates? A total of 32 minutes for the entire year of 2016. And none of it, none of those minutes included discussions of trade, health care, climate change, drugs, the war on drugs, poverty, guns, infrastructure, or deficits. None of it. It's like an issue-free election. It's all about, you know, who's, 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 uh, who's worse? Is it Donald Trump groping people? Or is it Hillary Clinton having, having email? Who's, this is bizarre. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program.